What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video. This is the Real Housewives of New Jersey season finale. And I'm going to just go ahead and be honest. This, this was the most action we got all, all season. Like, and not just because it was a lot of arguing and stuff, but we got a lot of information, okay? So let's get into it. 90% of this episode takes place at Dolores, as, um, Dolores' party with Paulie. Paulie. Um, you know, it's the Irish slash prohibition party that they were having. First of all, the party looked beautiful. Everything looked gorgeous. The decorations, they had Irish dancers, they had Irish music, um, they had traditional Irish food. Of course, they had Irish whiskey. Like, listen, when you say there was a theme, baby, there was a theme, okay? And everybody looked nice. I mean, you know, I felt like everybody came in in theme, you know, and, and everybody looked nice. So Let's just go ahead and jump into it, child. So the party starts, and everybody is trying to figure out what is wrong with Danielle. Like, Danielle is always crying. Whenever there's a situation, she always finds a way to bring it back around to her and her situation. And Margaret is just kind of over her. Margaret feels like she's just like a spoiled brat who wants the attention and always tries to make it about her, right? So she's like, she's just a brat, you know, and I just don't have the energy for it. Danielle shows up, and Danielle is like, listen, I, you know... I'm, I'm hoping for the best, expecting the worst. I don't know how this is going to go, right? I don't know where, where this is what's going to happen tonight. The guys are there drinking, doing what they do best, how to get drunk. Um, and the ladies were actually getting drunk too. You know Jennifer Aiden A's got drunk, child. So, I'm trying to remember because, child, so much stuff went down. Louis is over it, right? Louis said last week that he'd rather be anywhere except for, you know, instead of talking to Joe, right? Bill is still trying to talk to Joe about trying to make amends. And Joe is like, look, I'm just over it. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm just kind of over the whole thing. Danielle and Rachel have a conversation. And Rachel tries to get Danielle to understand, like, listen, at the end of the day, yes, I went back and I told um, Margaret, what was being said, but Margaret is my friend. If the situation were reversed, you would have done the same thing. And she was like, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go back and tell. I wouldn't go back and tell. And literally the whole fight at this party started because you went back and told Melissa something that you felt like she needed to know because she was your friend and you wouldn't want somebody saying it about you behind your back. Literally the whole fight started. Because you did the exact thing that you said you wouldn't do. But neither here nor there, they decide that they want to be friends, that they really like each other, and they want to just get past this. And so they kept asking her, well, girl, what happened in Ireland? Because, like, you really felt like, it really felt like you were off. Like, was it just about your brother or was it something else? And she was like, well, I mean, no. I mean, I just had some things in my mind. And they were like, okay, but... Nothing happened in Ireland that we didn't know about. Like, basically, you're not talking about something or nothing went down that we didn't talk about, argue about, clear the air about. Like, is it something deeper than what's going on with your brother or is it something else? And Danielle was just kind of like, eh, well, you know, uh, well, uh, eh, uh, you know. So then we have Jennifer... Louis, I feel like Louis is the only one that wasn't in character. Like, I feel like his outfit, I mean, maybe it was, but it wasn't the literal um, interpretation of Prohibition slash Irish. I don't know, but whatever. So, Louis and Teresa, excuse me, Louis, Louis is like on 20. Like, I don't know what Louis, well, I, I had my feelings on the whole Louis situation, okay? But... Louis is on 20. Like, Louis is really, truly on 20. Teresa is like, I just don't want anybody in our love bubble. Like, I just want to be happy in my love bubble. And I just don't... The outside, the outside noise doesn't matter. It's just us in the love bubble. And Jennifer is like, yes, Teresa, your part, your wedding is going to be the best. And we're just going to make sure that it's the best. And, and it's the best. And it's going to be the best. And it's, it's the best. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to put a little pin in this right now because this review ain't going to take that much longer. So let me put a pin in this right here. Let me say this to, to Miss Teresa. And I know that there are people that are team Teresa and there are people that are team Melissa or whatever. I'm not team nobody because to be honest with you, both of them get on my nerves. But let me say this. 
Some ain't right with Louie, and I don't give a damn what nobody says or nobody thinks. Some ain't right with Louie, and I don't know what it is. I ain't put my finger on it. But one, do I think that Louie is manipulating Teresa to try to navigate the, these people out of her life? Yes. Do I think he's doing it because he wants control over Teresa? Yes. Is there more to what's going on with Louie? I think so. Don't want to put, I, I just can't put my finger on it. I ain't quite sure about it, but I definitely feel like Louis is manipulating Teresa and Louis is creating a situation where Teresa has to rely on him. That is how I feel. Um, and I think that it's going to fall down sooner rather than later. And when it does, you're going to wish you had your family because Joe and Melissa are the only family that you have. That's my two cents and I'm leaving it right there. So Danielle... She decides that she just can't carry this burden any longer of this rumor about Melissa that she knows. Mind you, all it is is somebody saw Melissa in the backseat kissing somebody. We don't know who, what, when, where, or how. That is it. That is all. But you, you, the weight is just so heavy and you wouldn't want somebody to, to keep that from you. And, and Melissa just needs to know. So you tell Jennifer that you're going to tell Melissa. And Jennifer's like, girl, that's not a good idea. And you're like, but I need to do it. Don't worry. I won't let it come back on me. Um, I mean, I won't let it come back on you. I'll take the weight. I'll take the weight. And Jennifer was like, but girl, when they tell you where you got the information from, what you going to say? I'll, I'll take the weight. I'll take the weight. Listen, Danielle, girl, you're the same one that called them people, that girl a rat. But when they asked you where you got that information from, no, you didn't say a name. But you know what you did say? You said you got the information while y'all were in Ireland. Well, that limits... The options buy a whole lot. If you had said, listen, the rumor was out there, the word on the curb is, I heard it in the streets. But you said, while we were in Ireland, so legit, it has to be somebody that y'all were with. Legit, now it's narrowed down to Melissa, I mean, Teresa and Jennifer. Like, girl, like you, you legit, you sat there and told Jennifer, don't worry, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the weight on this. And then you, So anyway, she sits Melissa down to tell Melissa the situation. And Melissa just basically starts laughing. And Melissa is like, girl, I knew this six months ago. You know how I knew this six months ago? Because Teresa called my husband over to her house to tell him that I was cheating on him and try to encourage him to, to make me, to, for him to leave me. First of all, it's not true. He doesn't believe it. And what did y'all think was going to happen? Y'all thought he was just going to pack up and leave me based on a rumor that you got from somewhere? So, Melissa is now pissed. What happened? So, Danielle, though, and this is why I said this was never about... See, your reason for telling Melissa, it was never about, oh, Melissa needs to know and I wouldn't want that information out there about me and I would want a friend to tell me. It was never about that. What this was about was you thinking that you finally had a leg up that was going to get Margaret caught up. That's what you thought this was. You thought Margaret was going to get caught up. You thought that uh, Therese, I mean, that Melissa was going to get mad because Margaret knew the rumor and didn't tell her. But, but you got mad because Melissa wasn't mad at Margaret. Melissa didn't even have an issue with Margaret. Melissa is mad at Teresa. Now you're like, why does Margaret get a pass? I don't understand. Why aren't you mad at Margaret? Why aren't you mad at Margaret? Margaret, Margaret, Margaret. And Margaret is like, wait, whoa, I keep hearing my name. So she goes over there. Now, granted, Margaret rolled over there on 20. Like, she wasn't like, girl, what y'all talking about? She was like, Who why you keep saying my name? So then Danielle and Margaret get into it. Melissa tells Margaret, girl, she just told me the damn rumor that we already knew about six months ago. And Margaret, they, you know, Margaret is like, well, what do you listen to you? Like, why are you in it? Why are you repeating the rumor? Why are you even in this situation? So they get into a whole argument. Melissa calls out Teresa and Teresa's like, girl, what I do? So then Teresa and Melissa get into it. And Teresa was like, um, they got to arguing. And, and here's where, and the cameras didn't show this because... Melissa got um, handsy with Teresa. Like, she actually had her hands on Teresa because all you could hear was Teresa saying, get your hands off me, get your hands off me. So I don't know what what Melissa was trying to do, but she physically put her hands on 
Teresa, but they didn't like fight, fight. Well, at least they didn't show the fight. Like they literally had to pick Margaret up and pull Margaret away from Danielle. Like that's how bad their argument got. That they really were getting ready fight. Like security and everything, they really were getting ready fight. So then Louis is like, "What? Well, what you? I was the one that called. I did. I did it. I called Joe. I called Joe over to the house. It wasn't even Teresa. It was me. So then somehow Melissa and Louis get to arguing." And Joe was like, yo, who he talking to? Because I know he not in my wife's face like that. So then Joe goes over and Joe is like, yo, bruh, who you think you talking to right now? Because I know you not talking to my wife like that. So then Joe and Louie get into it. So, oh, and I forgot about uh, Margaret and Jennifer getting into it where once again, Margaret, I mean, uh, Jennifer brings up what, you know, Margaret telling the rumor about Bill cheating on her. And she's like, my daughter wants to be a therapist because of you. And they get to arguing. They have to push, you know, basically pick up Jennifer because she got, it was a mess. So Louis goes downstairs and he plays victim. Joe's trying to fight me. Yeah, because you was in his wife's face talking crazy. He was supposed to step to you, all right? Like, he was. So... Everybody leaves, child. I think that's everybody. Child, everybody leaves. And Dolores is like, damn, I feel bad. Because at this point, where do you, like, I don't know how you come back from this. Like, this was a real, real fight. Like, wh- I, how do we come back from this? So, the next day, you know, they show everybody. They, that's how this episode started with everybody kind of recovering from what happened. So the next day they show everybody. So Dolores calls Melissa. She's on her way over to Teresa's house. Dolores calls to Melissa. And Melissa is like, yeah, girl, I'm over it. I'm done. She was like, well, like, are you not going to come to the wedding? She was like, why would I go to a wedding celebrating somebody who is actively trying to break up my marriage? Like, why would I go there? They're like, literally, they called Joe over to the house to give Joe all of this information about me and was basically telling him leave 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 joe even said that gia told her to leave melissa now gia said it ain't true but child neither here nor there so then um dolores was like well i feel really bad like you know i'm on my way to Teresa's house like do you want me to tell Teresa you're not coming to the wedding and melissa was like you can tell her whatever you want to tell her i don't care i ain't coming you know um so we get to the house and Jennifer, Teresa, and Dolores are at the house and Louie comes down. Well, what we end up finding out is not only that Louie did not call Joe over to the house to tell him about this rumor, he had a private investigator investigate everybody, the whole, the whole cast, right? And he said, it's not just about that one rumor. There are multiple men. And I was trying to give Joey the information because... You know, I, that's what I would want somebody to do for me. And I was just trying to help him out. I'm trying to help him out. Um, it was multiple men. So Dolores was like, I'm not quite sure I understand why he got a private investigator, but okay. Listen, I would be more concerned about the fact that that man said he done had all y'all investigated. Because what you got in the dossier about me? Now, of course, Teresa claims she don't know nothing about a child by y'all are in that love bubble and you know every damn thing. Um, and that's pretty much how the episode ended. Now, we're going to have a Teresa wedding special. I promise y'all I'm not going to review that. So, I see y'all at the reunion. Peace.